So I lived in Boston for like 10 years, and um, it's a really awesome place, but it's very unfriendly, especially mm -hmm. when you first get there. I got there, and there's this, <laughs> I lived in uh, Brighton, and which is kind of a, it's, a, it's in the city proper of Boston, and it's kind of a student area. Mm -hmm. And I went by the communal gardens one day, and uh, there's this little old lady, a little white-haired old lady, working on a garden, and she had these beautiful flowers, and it was a gorgeous day out, and this is so Boston. So I said, oh, hey, what a beautiful garden. She's like, what? I said, what, what a beautiful garden. You know, I grew up in the Midwest. Everybody's like on drugs friendly practically. They're all like, woo, have a good day, woo boo. But um, <laughs> Boston is not like that. So she's, I was a little shocked and had, I'd only been in Boston for maybe a couple months. And I said, oh, well, you know, you have a beautiful garden here. She's like, ah. And then I said, well, what kind of flower is that? She's like, geranium. I'm like, oh, okay, well, um, thank you very much. And I just went on my way. And that would never happen in Michigan. That would never happen in Tucson. If you went up to someone and said, wow, what a beautiful garden. What are you growing there? You know, somebody would be reasonably friendly. Mm -hmm. But uh, Boston is notoriously rude. And the thing is, is once you've lived there for a while, you get used to the rudeness. In fact, you yourself start being rude just to survive. I mean, it's ruder than New York City. I lived in New York City. That's a pretty friendly place, actually. I liked it. And um, you get used to the rudeness, and then you find that like that gruff exterior is it's a little bit sort of a New England thing. Like New England in general is not like that kind of fake Midwestern, which I've grown to not like so much. This sort of fake Midwestern, like happy, happy, all the time happy. And people are really genuine and really cool once you get to know them. So it's just a surface thing of like. There's a lot of people here, and there's a lot going on, and the weather's crappy, and we're just going to be grouchy, and we're not going to exert ourselves to be like pleasant when we don't feel pleasant. And I kind of liked it after a while. I really liked it. You know, on the webcam, the way that you talk, it makes the picture just so much more animated, and your story is really interesting. So that would be so, that would be such a nice clip to put on YouTube. Yeah. I you should talk about your, um, like, when you, when did you start, like, how did you become an artist, and, like, what did you think? Yeah, why don't you interview me? That'd okay. Fun. Today, I want to introduce my friend. She's um, going to be helping me with this project. She is the servant for the art servant today, and so she's going to just ask me a few questions, and I'm going to talk. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay. So, what were you asking? So, one of my questions is, how did you realize that you wanted to be an artist? And what do you think an artist is? Okay, well, I always loved doing artwork, like since I was a little tiny kid. It was like any spare, you know, spare time I had, when I wasn't outside playing or doing stuff like that, I was busy making stuff. I just I don't know, I've always loved creating things and it's kind of imaginary worlds and also the focus, like working on something intently, just really makes me happy. And when, But I didn't think that that was something you could do as a job. I mean, pretty much I think my family had made it clear that that was not something you do as a job. Like, you get some kind of reasonable